This week, we're hiking the hills in Athens. That's right, in addition to the Acropolis, there are some other great places you can hike while visiting Athens. With all that hiking, we worked up an appetite, so we'll take you along as we head back to the Surrey area for dinner and a little taste of home. So far, what I really love about Athens, well, there's many things I love about Athens, but I really love that there's hiking within the city. So we're hiking up on top of the Lycabettus. I'll put it in, I'll <laughs> put it in a caption. But we're heading up to the top of this hill, pretty excited to see the views. But also the walking, the hiking trail is really pretty. What you can see out there is the Acropolis and then beyond it is the ocean. It's so pretty. So it's about 55 degrees out today. I think I overdressed for this hike. This hike's a little, a little bit steeper than the Acropolis. We made it. This is the halfway point. Here you'll find a cafe, and then behind the cafe, there's a path that'll lead you the rest of the way, zigzagging up the hill. There is a cable car that you can ride to the top of Mount Lycabettus, but I'm a girl who likes adventure, so I wanted to hike. According to mythology, Mount Lycabettus appeared when goddess Athena threw a rock she was carrying in her hands, in which she was going to use to build the Acropolis but she threw it because she received bad news from a raven. We even have cats up here. Seventy-seven meters or 908 feet above sea level, Mount Lycabettus summit is the highest point in central Athens. At the top you'll find the Church of St. George, a stunning whitewashed church which dates back to 1870. It's a beautiful spot in Athens. You can hang out, take in the views, tour the church, have a cocktail at the cafe. It's just lovely on top of Mount Lycabettus. After taking it all in, we decided to zigzag our way back down the hill. So that was super fun. There's a cafe at the top of the mountain, and there's also like a midway point with the cafe. And I have to say, I don't think I'd want to do this in the summer because it would probably be hot and really crowded. But this time of year, 55 degrees, the cafes aren't full. There's not a lot of people at the top. There was a few people, but it's Saturday afternoon, so that makes sense. But it was lovely, so awesome. <sighs> I can't touch you, buddy. I'm sorry. Across from the Acropolis, you can find another area to hike called the Philippopis Hill. Or Philippopis. Tomato, tomata. No matter what, you're going to get stunning views of the Acropolis and the city of Athens. So this is where we came the other night with Effie to get another view of the Acropolis. But it was pitch black. <laughs> You could not see anything. So I thought I'd bring you up during the day so you can get a better view. Philip Papas died in 116. He was a prominent Roman consul and administrator. His death caused great grief to his sister, Julia, and the citizens of Athens, and possibly to the imperial family. As a dedication to the honor of the memory of Philip Papas, Julia, with the citizens of Athens, erected a tomb structure on Muses Hill. 
near the Acropolis of Athens. His marble tomb monument is still known as the Philippopolis. So on the top of this hill, you of course get a great view of the Acropolis, but you also get a great view of the entire city and you can see out to the ocean. So we're back in Siri, which is a more touristy area, but you'll find a cozy establishment called A Little Taste of Home. Known for healthy Turkish, Mediterranean, European, and Greek food, we heard great things, so we couldn't wait to check it out. The staff was friendly and helpful as we were trying to decide on what to order. The restaurant is quaint, cozy, and feels homey. So first up, we of course went with the Greek salad. I think we ate Greek salad at almost every single restaurant because it's just so good. This is so good. I think one of the ingredients that is different in Greece is the capers. They add capers to their Greek salads and they're so good. Oh. All right, so we got the papadelle with pork and then we got the lamb shrank <laughs> with mashed potatoes. I don't think I've had mashed potatoes here yet. Let's give it a try. So this is the perfect warm dish on a cold, colder Athens day. Very creamy and cheesy. like it's been cooking all day oh my god i mean this lamb is so tender so moist a little taste of home was so yummy they gave us too much food we have to take some home for leftovers but we will eat them because they were delicious well that concludes this week's episode i hope you enjoyed the hikes and a little taste of home i'll make sure to put in the description below all the links to where we went this week please consider subscribing to my channel or hitting that bell button to get more notifications because there's more coming more travel more food and if you like travel and food well hit subscribe because that's what i do